Hello, welcome to Quackalo. Thank you for being here. Today we're starting a series that we're, we're actually really excited about. Yes, we are going to be deluxifying the games that are staying in our permanent collection. We have been going through a shelf or sell series where we analyze our entire collection, letting you see what is staying, what is going, what we're split on and need to get to the table a few more times. Check that series out. They post on Saturdays. Yeah, we'll have a link up at the top or at the end of the video, whatever the case. Either way, this is going to be deluxifying viticulture with everything I could find to take this game that we love up a notch. I'm very excited. And this unboxing slash deluxification video will be a little bit different because we actually have brand new copies to open. You've always played Alex's. I have. I've always played Jan's. <laughs> I haven't needed a copy until now, and this is one of the very first titles that we knew we wanted to pick up sure. as a team to bring some extra content here to the channel. And so. also there are a lot of deluxifications that we can and upgrades that we have access yep. to. So this was a perfect one to start with. So we are going to compare the deluxifications, tell you about our, I mean, genuinely our reviews of them, whether or not we'd recommend them and where you can get your hands on them as we start opening this up. Let's go ahead and start, start breaking the seal, yeah. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, Viticulture is going to be from Stonemaier Games, and it's actually their claim to fame originally. It's one of the very first games that they put out, followed by, I believe, Scythe, and then, of course, we have Pendulum and Tapestry and a whole nice series that. now. Right. Rolling Realms, by the way, if you haven't played, is fantastic. It's so charming. Viticulture is going to be a more classic Euro-style game where you're managing... You're managing your own wine production a homestead. premises. Yeah, you're inheriting this plot of land from Ma and Pa, and you're going to be placing workers across different seasons to produce the best quality wine in the entire region and world. The thing that makes Viticulture so great and so unique, you can let people know as well, whatever you think. For me, the thing that makes Viticulture so great and so unique is the crunchiness of where and how you place your workers. You, you see, at the beginning of the round, you have different seasons to go in. If you're playing with base viticulture, it's winter and summer, making a choice between mm -hmm. harvesting, gathering, earning money, and turning it into wine or produce. And if you spend too much early on, you might not have the actions you need for later rounds. If you're playing with the Tuscany expansion, that branches off, because they know it was good, into four full seasons that you're playing across. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. And it has a whole other own, board. Each with their own crunchy decisions. There are some extra modules and boards. What do you love about Viticulture? Why is this in our collection? I love the variability, and I love the theme, and I like the components. Yeah. Even in the base game, the components are rock solid. And so they the are. deluxification should take it up a whole nother level. So let's start breaking this open. We'll go ahead, and you can open both of them if you want. Let's start with Viticulture. Uh, game box, of course, is lovely. Looks like we have a coupon code of some form on there. Let's rule book, Stonemeyer fashion, is, is very well made. Is there a flavor text? Don't Are you know. looking for flavor text? I was looking for flavor text. There's, always, there's always a touch. It's always at the very front. Just this very small thing? Yeah. Old world Tuscany awaits your winemaking skill and strategic cunning. You'll plant vines, harvest grapes, age wines, and fill merchant orders to create the greatest winery in Winery? Winery. Winery. In Italy. So these are going to be your personal player boards where you're harvesting, storing, upgrading, and getting buildings that are on your vineyard that change the way you play the and game. The, yeah, the buildings allow you to do different abilities and to create your own like system yeah. and no, company. No upgrades for these. No. They're perfectly fine how they are, but we do have upgrades immediately for... have upgrades for these coins. Now, the coins aren't bad. They're just classic cardboard, but from Meeple Source. And these are going to be like official Stonemeyer Games products. Oh. Go ahead and pull those out. Let's compare them. I'm so excited. We have the board here. These look fantastic. I'll open up the board for anyone who hasn't seen or played the game to get a good view of. These have weight. They have heft. They make sounds. Metal coins are some of my favorite upgrades, period, in a So uh, Alex from Board Game Gameplay also has upgraded his, and I'm curious because I've played with his upgraded components, so I know how nice some of these can be. Ooh, okay. So these are official metal coins. Yeah. Uh, they are hefty. They were pricey. They make sounds. Okay. They clink. So here's the thing. With metal coins, what I'm always looking for is unique artwork, custom design. These have the Viticulture grape yep. and a nice clear coin on one side with the, the Roman wreath there. And sometimes metal coins, even though you pay a premium for them, feel like punched steel. Mm -hmm. They don't feel like actual coins. And these, these do. I would say... One thing I look for... Another thing that I look for is differentiation. Sometimes metal coins can look very similar. Again, here's, here's the thing in my opinion. I would say the pennies are actually better in terms of weight and heft than our, uh, our high end there, though. 
I agree. They're both very nice, but the pennies have a little bit more density to them. Yeah. Uh, which I really like. And I assume these nickels are going to be just as nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very clear. Metal coins are, for me, oh, a, a deluxification that I think is almost always worth it, as long as they're well made. I do really like these. Uh, so, we no longer need this tray. Now, <clears throat> what else do we have in here? We have the meeples. Some loose baggies. Yeah, so let's talk about the meeples. So in the base game Viticulture, you're going to have various colors. I believe four or five different colors. Five different colors. No, six different colors. Does Stonemaier Games has a rule around their games. Ah, one to six players. Every game Stonemaier Game puts out has to be within a parameter of player counts because he wants it to be able to get to every household table. Nice. So, you're not going to want to do that, Shira. Why? Because we actually have a different upgrade that we're going to have to build that's not going to involve that storage tray. Fine. Don't so, leave it. Uh, we're going to have these various colors, and each of these are going to have buildings, houses. They're going to have your high-end workers, uh, and so on and so forth. And it seems like we have... Uh, the double whites and double greens. Well, double, double a lot of these. Are these supposed to be doubled? Oh yeah, these are our basic workers, and then you have your houses. So they're actually separated, because you have so many different buildings. Oh yeah. They pack them in various bags. So, in order to upgrade these, we went to Meeple Source as well. And this is kind of what Meeple Source is known for, in a way. So these are going to be our custom. There are sticker options. We did not go the sticker route. We went the So these Meeple are all the route. people, but we don't have any buildings. Uh, do we not? No. Okay, so maybe we need to. So, because that was something I noticed well. about Alex, he has really awesome, cool plastic buildings. So these all will delu will deluxify the comp the people, but they won't upgrade the. These are the moths and pods. So there's there's sticker options for the buildings, and maybe we explore that because okay. I didn't quite when I ordered this, I didn't know which one we were getting. So cool. right now we have the moths and paws and the upgrades on the workers. I like the basic meeples, but I do I do really like the uh, variation that we have with a little bit more of these. I like, like the color. And wounded. Yeah, yeah. There's cool. definitely nothing wrong with the basic ones, but these just add. Okay. Add a little bit of flavor. A little bit of flavor. Oh. Okay. okay. The next thing we have. This is just freaking adorable, and this is totally extra and yeah. unnecessary. It's round trackers, but... point trackers. Like these are the things that match up with your colors and go in different areas to determine your player order. And if you buy two of them, which we haven't, you can also use them to track your position. We will be buying a second one. Do you want? Do you yes. want one to track your yes. position as well? Yes. Okay. Look at them, and they're Little all crate. they're all individualized. They all have a different label on them. This one is Catello del Bala in nineteen ninety nine. This one's another Catello, um, product of France. They're just so So those cute. are adorable. Uh, now, we don't have... I'm, I'm running into things that, like, I want to get now. We didn't get card sleeves. Correct. We want to do, actually, a whole... I think a whole episode on a bunch of different sleeve yep. brands and kind of feel them out because so you need to fill your sleeves. We do want card sleeves for all of these. There's a lot of interplay with the cards. And there wasn't any sort of upgrade on these. I don't think those I are like necessary. I like the glass beads. Because... I don't know, if for people who haven't played, you put your glass beads on these numbers, yep. and then you move them along. So it's helpful to have the glass beads so that you can see Being through able to the see number. Being able to see through them is really nice. And then they just translate over into the wine. So the glass there beads, I There were some I things like. that upgraded, like, that that were colored versions, like, like examples of the grapes that you have. I didn't think they added... I thought no, they might actually take away from the usability. The only thing I would say is upgraded buildings. Either sticker our buildings so, or upgrade the buildings. So we'll look into the stickers. And sleeves for the cards. Sleeves for the cards. Now, here's the other thing we have. We have an organization system. So I went with... Uh, this is from Etsy, and this is from the Ship Shape Gamer. Okay. Uh, they made these custom trays. The Wine Cellar Organizer, compatible with Viticulture by Stonemeyer Games. Does it be the also instruction hold Tuscany? Sheet. It should hold both. Um, Cause that's we can start yes. opening Tuscany if you want to push up a bit of culture a bit. As far as I am aware, and I could be wrong, but as far as I'm aware, I got the one that was able to hold everything we have. So Tuscany brings a whole new board. It does. You don't actually play with this board. Correct. Instead, you're playing with an expanded board. And the game Careful plays with well. You're that. The game plays well both the ways. Oh, so. Goodness. 
So it adds a whole new deck of cards, yep. which correspond to the new boards that you that the players just add on to the side of your board. And you get to create your own buildings that will allow you to do special individualized actions, yep. the extra card decks. And here's the Maz and Paws that you did upgrade already. Well, they're not upgraded already. They're, they come in this version of it. No, but I'm saying you have. You oh, have yeah, the yeah. upgraded yeah. components. Yeah. The Maz and Paws there. Yeah. These are actually really cute, though. I want to get... I like the new stars. ones, but these are really cute. Yeah. Better stars or something. I want to get better stars. Yep. Do? Okay. Because now I'm seeing that we need stars as well. Cool. Because um, remember the stars go over here on the point system where yep. it allows you to get bonuses and stuff. Oh, such a great right. game. So fold that up. Let's take a look at this. because What we're are those? I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. So we're not going to build this yet, but I wanted to look at the custom. One of the things that I like about wooden inserts, if you get a nice custom one, like, you know, the Ship Shape Gamer, you can actually get things that have, like, color, screen printing, inlays. So this is per color, so yeah. So each one of these gonna be are going to be little slide-out trays. And I actually, I really like the uh, color of them all. Then It's interesting because they built it so that it'll fit into the box sideways. Should, like should fit down. in and be stable sideways, yep. So we have this really nice kind of wood laser etch uh, of the wine bottle and the scenery there. Oh yeah, that is. It's like textured. That. We this have is also textured. Yeah, the logo Ship Shape Gamer, and here's another little scenery area. Nice. I like how I like how this is. Now and all these are, are going to be the classic chest. kind of inlay design. You break the tokens out. Now it's also nice and thick. Like this is yeah. going to be super sturdy once we have it put together. And then the final it's got piece that here. Smell. Um, it does. There's that final piece that we were looking for. So that's going to be. Those are magnificent. No, I mean it's it's the artwork and, and design yeah. here is actually really pretty. And you can see an example. I just want to start building it. Of what uh, this will look like once we actually have it all constructed and finished. And I'm sure in a gameplay that we have coming up down the road, you'll actually see all of these deluxified yeah. components put to use because we're going to be bringing some more coverage here to the channel. The other thing that we have. Expansions. expansions, which For you didn't. What? This you didn't even know they existed. I didn't know they existed. I thought Tuscany was the only expansion. No. Have we played with them? So let's hang out and take a look. We have not played with any of these little mini expansions. Mm. Whoa! whoa, whoa. I Calm get to... down, there, horse cat. All right. Uh, like horse cat. Set those over to the side, and let's take a look at what we have here. So first, we're going to have the special worker promo cards from Stonemaier Games. Because your mom and pa each have special abilities, so they give you more abilities to do them. Okay. So Builder, Apprentice, Vagabond, Martyr, Salesman, Shumalier, Shumalier, Mama Grande, and Alchemist, and the Storyteller. So these are just going to be extra little promo cards that we get mm. uh, in association with each one of those. Okay. So excited about that. Adds a little bit more variability ability to the game. So I always like expanding a game that I like. And then we have Visit from the Rhine Valley, an alternative set of visitor cards for Viticulture, and more visitors expansion, which is, you didn't read the sub, you, Rosenberg, Jamie, Jamie Stenmeyer, oh, it's the designers. I was like, there is no sub over there, so that's why I turned it over. You have new visitors. This expansion this for Viticulture provides well. you with a new set of visitor cards, which focus less on victory points and more on the wine business itself. These cards have their own unique backs, as they must be played without the other visitor cards from Viticulture, oh. Tuscany, and more visitors. 40 summer, 40 winter. This completely transforms the way you're playing so the game. So this is also, with business with business booming in Tuscany, tourism is at an all-time high. The More Visitors expansion is an assortment of new summer and winter visitor cards to be shuffled into the visitor decks of any version of Viticulture. These cards um, feature a variety of abilities and paths to victory. So this gets shuffled in. This gets shuffled in, this, but this could also does it does no, it say you can't they don't use combine. more? Okay. That gets shuffled into the base game, okay. which just expands it. I this didn't get enough. These are going to uh, completely change, which I like. We don't need to pop the seals on these or anything, but I like the idea of having two different ways to play. So it's gonna change the blue. Which decks can I see them? It's the changing blue. blue and yellow. These are the decks that typically go for victory points. Yeah. So in the base game, you might be hunting these decks in order to get some big point scoring. This focuses more on the wine industry, which means you've got to produce to win. Yeah. Whereas I've played a version. A lot of times, it's more about like selling and many. I've played a strategy of this where I did nothing to create wine. Yeah. And sold the farm and nearly won. I was competitive. And these are and just these, more. And these just shuffle in and mix in. Like when you harvest a field, you may harvest all of your fields instead. Discard to gain points and money. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So those are going to be the mini expansions we have. I'm so excited. there you have it. These are the upgrades that we decided to go with. We have an insert. We're going to be getting sleeves. I wish we'd already actually yeah. grabbed those. We're still learning how to do this series. 
metal coins, meeples, which I think look really nice, uh, and they're well made. And we have our little wine cellar, which you said we need to get a second one of. Yes. And we have to find a way to store it or fit it into uh, well, that's my task this now. little crate. So let us know. Two questions that I have. What, what other games game? would you like to see us upgrade? Absolutely. <laughs> and what upgrades are we missing from this game or from other games? We already know about sleeves and the buildings. Yep. So what else do you think we should... Go for it. Yeah, we're going to have fun with this. Now that we're locking in a permanent yeah. collection that's never leaving, uh, it's time to get fancy with some of the components we have. So, we'll also be bringing more content to the channel. If you want to see something specific, a full review, breakdown and strategy guide, a weird alternative way to play, like selling the farm being the objective, first to sell the farm wins, something like that. Interesting. Uh, if you want to see some, you know, hot takes on viticulture, uh, let, let us, us know. know. It works well at two players, which is nice. It does. It works so. fantastic at two players. Either way, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Whatever the case, whatever you do, remember, remember to do the important, important thing. thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. I thought you were joining me. Get out and see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one.